about to be a very long presentation. Uh, so Anthony and I ran some numbers, and to our best guess, uh, The Last of Us Part Two is 10 to 30 percent longer than Last of Us Part One. However, this is the most detailed story presentation we've ever done. Like, if you think about the presentation for T1, where we kind of talked about the quarantine zone in somewhat detail, you know, sort of change, and then it's like, and here are some things that might happen with Joel and Ellie. They might go into a sports field subway tunnel. They might fight some cannibals. And at some point, Joel will get incapacitated and Ellie channel guys we are back to talk about naughty dogs after the don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you think it goes playstation had announced yesterday we'll think it was yesterday yeah yesterday that they have laid off 900 employees each company naughty dogs other companies this is not good this puts the games under the under the pump at Naughty Dogs, because the ex, because um the Last of Us Part Three, we could see the we could not if the, if Naughty Dogs end up shutting their doors. I don't think they'll ever do, but they're a big company still. But they got so many games they need to come out with. So, I don't know what's going to happen, guys, but it's not looking good for Naughty Dogs. So, guys, what I would say about, um, yeah, all, after yesterday, after when PlayStation laid off 900, cut 900 jobs, like, it's from Naughty Dog, from uh, Inspiration Studios, uh, and other studios. It's not good. Not a good sign for game industries, unfortunately. Last year, Telltale Games had layoffs as well. Now, Naughty Dogs are having more layoffs. That's not good. Layoffs are not good. It's not a good sign for a company. And what I want to talk about is about AIs taking over the employees because I feel like that's the way to move to if you want to make games I feel like it's time to bring AI to the world because layoffs are happening the economy and inflation is high and layoffs and laying off staff is just not a good sign for company we could see Naughty Dog shutting their doors I don't want to see Naughty Dog shut down I do not want to see Naughty Dog shut their doors I've been a big, I've been a fan of Naughty Dogs for a very long time, guys, and I don't want to see Naughty Dogs shut down. What I wanted to say to, um, yeah, unfortunately, guys, what I would say to, um, about Naughty Dogs is stay patient, guys, because layoffs, it's not gonna, it's not helping the company. I think um, Nick Jordan, Nick Dodge, the CEO of um, Naughty Dogs, he had to lay off a lot of staff. Yeah, so, yeah, it's not really good. I'm hoping that they can drive out from the layoffs. I hope they can. But unfortunately, it's just what it is. It's very sad when you see layoffs in game industries now, these days. It's not great. Not good. It's just not great news for the game industry, unfortunately. Say to these guys, but awesome to you, it's going to be, uh, unfortunately, in any game industry, the last of Naughty Dogs, at least for the Inspiration Studios. Other studios like Telltale. Yeah, it's not really good. 
So yeah, it's not great news for Naughty Dogs and their future. Because I did a video talking about, about their future. And now we saw layoffs. What, what What's going to happen? So yeah, it's not great news. This is gonna be a very, this is gonna be a long video, guys. So don't forget to, yeah, don't forget to um like the lot, like the, the of the lot of the Naughty Dogs video talking about the layoffs. Also, I'll have another video talking about Deck Nine's layoffs as well. So I'll be doing a Deck Nine. Talking about layoffs at that company. So, yeah, it's, I have to talk about a lot of game industry companies of layoffs because that's not good for the game industry. It's not good for the future. It's just not, it's not a good sign. Not a good sign at all, guys. So, guys, if you want to see The Last of Us Part 3, you need to support Naughty Dogs. You need to support Naughty Dogs. You need to support their games. You need to. You need to buy The Last of Us Part 3 if it comes out. If you if The Last of Us Part 3 flops and Naughty Dogs end up with more layoffs, we could see Naughty Dogs end up like Telltale, like shut down. Shut down. And that wouldn't be good. Because Naughty Dogs has been around longer than what the original Telltale was. So yeah, it's not a good sign. Not a good sign at all, guys. Not a good sign. And I'm gonna say about this guys. Is that Telltale? Telltale was one of the company in the past had bankruptcy and shut down. So if we see Naughty Dog shut down, that's not a good sign at all. So you just don't know, guys. You just don't know. You just don't know, guys. Unfortunately, we just don't know what's going to happen. I mean, The Last of Us Part Two. We saw we saw that the the original one flop. It flopped. We knew it flopped. The game was didn't sell really well. Apparently. People didn't really buy much. Of it. Also, there was a lot of glitches in the game. I've heard about the the, the Last of Us Part Two. It was actually had it was the longest series in the series. So guys, I don't know what's going to happen, but it's just not a good sign in Naughty Dogs. Naughty dogs at all, guys. So, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't know. But it's just not a really good sign, guys. Okay, guys. Um, that's going to be it for the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys in the next talking about The Last of Us or Naughty Dogs. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.